What's going on? Let's time talk about uh, a Marvel superhero film for once. It's been a while since I talked about Marvel. I'm not a huge fan of Marvel films. I find most of them to be just dumb and boring and, yeah, feet pander to the big money feeding crap. But just like the Star Wars sequels and all that jazz. Kind of stay away from most of it. But, uh, so yeah, I definitely, I saw this movie a while back when I came back to theaters. But, uh, yeah, it's been a while since I checked it out. And I remember it being really good and one of my favorites. So, I thought I should give it a second shot and see if it still is. So we're going to be talking about Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, one of the oddball <laughs> ones. So, this came out, like, amidst the Avengers stuff. And so, like, we had all the Thor, Captain America, Iron Man movies coming out constantly. And, like, I absolutely hate the Thor films. And, yeah, Captain America, the first one, wasn't was terrible. And then, the, then it started getting okay. Civil War was fun, but, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I was... This is one I was skeptical before I went and saw it. And then I went and saw it, and I was actually pretty surprised by this. So Guardians of the Galaxy, obviously released by Marvel Studios or Disney. Um, yeah. Uh, August 1st, 2014, it stars obviously Chris Pratt, uh, Zoe Saldana, Dave Batista, Vin Diesel, Bradley Cooper. Yeah, all those big names are in this. Uh, it was produced by Kevin Figge, uh, written by Michael Perlman, and co-written and directed by James Gunn, who um, is also the guy behind The Suicide Squad, which is another terrible movie, but DC is way better than Marvel. Fight me on that. Um, yeah, but he's also done... Guardians of, he'll go on to do Guardians of the Galaxy 2, and he's actually the writer and director of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. And uh, he's also done other films like Super and one of my favorite horror comedies of all time, Slither. Nothing beats that creature feature. It's had a budget of around $232.3 million, somewhere in that range anyways. You can never tell if it's fully real, actual or not. But then it had a box office earnings of $772.8 million, a substantial... <laughs> Profit was made off of this. Um, so if you're not familiar with Guardians of the Galaxy, it's um, basically uh, four, four, yeah, four or five, if you include Groot, um, team of uh, misfits who uh, end up meeting each other because they're all looking for the same thing. Um, they, this orb that has one of the Infinity Story Stones that Thanos is looking for. And there's some people playing, paying high prices to get it. Uh, this, he, the raccoon wants it, like, right away. Rocket or whatever his name is. Yeah, and then this girl gets hired for, like, I don't know, it's like 4 million units or something like that to steal it from someone. And uh, Groot also, Groot is with get on it and uh Dave Batista's character da Dax wants um revenge on Thanos and uh the other villain in this can't remember him off the top of my head but yeah um so yeah so they all slowly like team up to take on these um Thanos and uh Narak or whatever the hell his name is uh yeah the forgettable villain in this yeah um, yeah, so they team up and try to save the universe, obviously. So this is, uh, the first of the Guardians of the Galaxy films. So obviously you're going to spend a lot of time getting to know each character and watch them go through their pitfalls and stuff. They all break, meet in like a prison setting and they break out of it as a team and stick together to take out the villain. And, uh, yeah, it's your typical superhero group story done in outer space with a lot more interesting sci-fi stuff thrown in there and um but yeah besides the story though it is a lot of fun uh, there is a lot of good comedic moments and everything well placed and everything so the writing and the acting in this is awesome it's really good and um yeah the visual effects to 
the cinematography and everything in this is really well done. And um, yeah, there's not really much of a problem with this, except for one thing, the villain. He is the most generic villain out there. It's like Ultron. He's like Ultron, basically. Just goes to destroy uh, this one civilization that he wants with the Infinity Stone. He gets all the power, and it's up to these guys to stop him. It's your typical, or even like Apocalypse and the X-Men films. It's your typical superhero villain, but... Um, yeah, I know that was more of like a side plot than to see all these guys get together and become one. There is some gripping moments in this, like Roots incident and stuff. Um, but yeah, for the most part, it's a really well done film, especially visually. And that, and I think this one is probably one of the best of the Marvel films. So the way I view these is like. Um, so you got your beginning ones, so it starts up pretty loose, like not so good with like Captain America, Thor, um, yeah, and whoever else, like Iron Man and that, which Iron Man was the only good beginner film out of all those. I thought the rest of them were crap. And then, um, yeah, but then it, as the sequels and stuff go on, it gets a little bit better and a little bit better. Except for Thor. All those movies are shit. And, uh, yeah. So, basically, um, then they put out this one because they have the Avengers stuff going on now. And uh, this. And this is when they're at their pinnacle, I think, so far. Because, like, Avengers, Avengers Age of Ultron, and this, mainly... Avengers Age of Ultron and Guardians of the Galaxy, I think, are the two best Marvel movies out there. And after Avengers Endgame was Snorfest, that was um, ended, uh, I just gave up on it. I'm just like, I'm not watching any of these ever again. So, yeah, it's good to go back and see this film. There's nothing really wrong with it. It needed a more dynamic villain, but they're trying to set up Thanos as it, so I know there's that kind of shoehorned in there, but I know that was their plan from the start. So, it, for that hard part to put something like that into a film with, like, this, con this really well craft of characters and stuff would have been hard to do so i could see why they went the way they did which is fine but this is definitely one of the better superhero movies i find out there than most of the other stuff that comes out now and previous to it this and avengers age of ultron are probably like my favorite marvel movies out of the mcu universe anyways and the spider-man ones are pretty good too but um yeah but for the most part yeah, I'm going to give this one a four and a half out of five. It had a stronger villain and something a little more interesting and more uh, something more against them to go against them. Then it would have been almost pretty much perfect. But since they didn't do that, I'm going to give this a four and a half. Although I know a lot of people love the Marvel and MCU universe, but for some reason... I just can't get into it. It's not for me. Uh, it was like I around this time when this film, when 2014, when this film came out, I was like, okay, they're finally picking up the stride. But then after like Infinity War and then they put out Endgame, I'm like, I absolutely cannot do this anymore. I was so disappointed and what a waste of time that was. I didn't bother wasting my time with anything more with the MCU universe. So yeah, that's my little rant of the MCU films and uh, what I thought of Guardians of the Galaxy. I think it's one of their best ones they ever put out. So that's that for this. Uh, there's a trailer link down below if for some reason you forgot about it, which I'm sure most people haven't, or if you want to just check it out again and relive it, that's linked down below. Also, my Instagram is always linked down below where I post clips of films going to be in the future on my story. I just had the film title hashtag and the subgenre of film in the hashtag so you were you're aware of it. Um also link down below is my letterbox at Derek P Reviews. That's where I post my first start rating right after watching the film. So follow me on one of those two to stay in the loop. 
for this channel. Like this video, share it so more people are aware of it. Comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And also, if you want me to do more Marvel Universe films and you hear actually how my all my critiques of the films, comment those down below if you want to hear my opinions on those or any film in general. Uh, comment them down below. I'll try my script as soon as I can and if I can find it. And uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe because hopefully we'll find out some find some more crazy cool movies like this so you hear my opinions on those or hopefully you find something weird and obscure that you never thought of find checking out together so yeah that's my thoughts on guardians of the galaxy so um that's it for this one i got an interesting film a sequel to a previous film that i watched that uh i'm a little skeptical about but we'll see how this goes for my next one but till then uh yeah, hopefully you and your ragtag friends have a great one, and I guess I'll see you all in the next review, so cheers.